If you may remember the grid layout from the swing package, when you create a grid there, it would create equal size grids and every element will take up the whole grid size. The login example that we did today, in that login example, let me pull it again, you would have noticed that login can not only be placed wherever you like, but it doesn't take up 100% of that space that is assigned to it. However, in some cases, like if you're creating a chess board or you're creating a checkers board, some kind of something like that, you want each item to take up the same amount of space. So what JavaFX did, it created with another layout called tile pane. So it creates a tiling so that each box is of the same size. So let's try that, the tile pane. So back to our date picker, we're gonna save this as JavaFX tile pane. Instead of the H box, we're going to create a tile pane object. <clears throat> and we're going to add a few buttons here first. So let me do button B1 equals to new button. Uh, we're going to call this one new. So to the pane, we're going to start adding one button at a time, starting with the button one. Six. So if all six buttons added. Now let me run this so that you can see how they are tiled. As you can see that each one of them takes the same amount of space. And what is the amount of space? The longest item in the column decides how wide the column will going to be. And the highest item decides how high each row will be. So everything has to be aligned perfectly. So if I um, increase, let me increase this to 300 by 200, it still takes the same amount of space. It, it doesn't stretch like it used to in the grid layout before. But it has some properties of grid layout, but not all properties of grid layout. But at the same time, you can do some positioning to some extent. And you can add gaps if you would like to. So for example, if I say I want pane dot set horizontal gap to 10 and pane dot set vertical gap to 10 and now when you rerun your application with that with those two changes uh, you'll notice that they are you know spaced out if I drop the vertical gap then they appear like vertically on top of each other so you know you have all of these things that you can do And then you can also set the um, tile to have an alignment where you can say, I want it to be top left. So now if you notice, it's top left aligned. If I turn off my gaps, and just leave the alignment only, then you'll notice that they're all left aligned with no gaps in between.